This is Green Star Polyp, also known as GSP in the hobby. Now, if you're looking for your very first coral, or maybe you've tried some corals before and you're just looking for a great coral that is nice and easy to care for, then the Green Star Polyp may be the one for you. Now, the Green Star Polyp is a fast-growing coral that can be placed in a variety of different lighting conditions. So that means if you're still trying to figure out your lighting settings on your reef aquarium, then the Green Star Polyp will be just fine. From low in the tank to high up in the rock work, the Green Star Polyp adapts pretty quickly. They also have a high tolerance for water flow, which makes them easy to keep in a variety of tank setups. Now, in my experience, you do want some water flow moving across your Green Star Polyps because this keeps the water moving in and through them and it gives the GSP nice movement and keeps it waving in the current. Green star polyps are known for their vibrant colors and they are very hardy, and they can adapt very easily to different water parameter swings that you might have. Now, I mentioned how fast growing green star polyps are, and that's very true. This colony of green star polyps started down here on the rock work and then worked its way up and is now colonizing the top part of the rock. Green star polyps are photosynthetic, so there's no need to feed them. They get what they need from the water column and they use the lights in your tank to grow. So they're very easy to feed and maintain. Now, I wouldn't be doing you any justice if I didn't give you cautions about keeping the green star polyp. The first thing would be to think about where you're placing your green star polyp in your tank. You wanna put him in an area that you want him to grow out on. Because like this green star polyp here, it has just grown up and covered the entire rock. Also be careful when placing this coral too close to other corals because it may want to overtake and grow over top of the neighboring coral. I've seen this happen in one of my old tanks. I had zoanthids next to the green star polyp and they completely grew over top of the zoanthids and completely covered it. So if you're gonna put anything next to the green star polyp, make sure you're okay with it potentially getting covered or if you're placing a coral that has um, sweeper tentacles or anything that could sting the green star polyp that might keep it at bay. Now, if you're looking for parameters to use as a simple guideline, I will have those in the description below. So be sure to check those out if you're looking to get green star polyps for your reef aquarium. Green star polyps are fast growing soft corals that add a pop of color and life to your reef aquarium. And that's why I put them on my top five soft corals for first time hobbyist video that I made just for you. So click or tap your screen to check out that video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.